Hello, everyone. I'm Yifan Chen from Huawei Global Training Center. Welcome back to our open source technology mock. This section, we are going to discuss open source monitoring software and its selection. At the beginning, let's take a look at an open source monitoring process. First, we need to determine a monitored object, such as a host, server, switch, router, printer, or terminal. And then we set a monitored item for such a monitored object. Set an alarm threshold for the monitored item and provide an alarm mechanism for this alarm threshold. In this example, the monitored object is a CWIN computer. The monitored item is the available space on the C drive. If the available space on the C drive is less than 10 GB, an alarm is triggered, and the alarm mechanism sends an email notification to the admin. We will monitor the space on the C driver once every 30 minutes and check whether the available space is less than 10 GB. If all conditions are met, the alarm mechanism will be triggered and send an email to the mailbox of the administrator based on the objects that have been triggered. The administrator processes the alarm after receiving the email. The email is then sent to the mailbox of the superior of relevant supplier's contact if the alarm fails to be processed. If the alarm is successfully processed, the threshold of the monitored item will be determined every 30 minutes. In this example, we can see the superior monitoring software must have the ability to monitor multiple objects. Additionally, each monitored object is provided with a detailed monitored item and an alarm threshold. The monitoring software can be used to simulate man-machine interactions, such as simulating users accessing web pages and determining whether a website or web page works normally uh, viewing the return value. Next, let's take a look at which objects can be monitored by open source monitoring software. We can see that open source monitoring software can monitor more than 95% of devices, including various kinds of operating systems, databases, application software, terminals, servers, IoT, and network storage, and the virtual machines. In addition, it can provide diversified component packages to itemize monitored items. Logically, open source monitoring software can be used to complete the following. First, collecting data on each monitored item based on monitoring clients, SNMP, syslog, and SSH. Second, comparing data with the threshold of a monitored item and processing historical records. Third, sending alarm information and displaying relevant graphs or tables on web pages. The figure shows the historical records of a monitored item. Following our discussion that determined open source monitoring software is superior to commercial monitoring software, we will now take a look at open source monitoring software products. Cacti, the earliest open source monitoring software, which features ease of operation and cost monitoring granularity. It is used to collect information based on SNMP, upload data to MySQL databases, and display tabular data on the web layer. Nagios, a module-based open source monitoring software package. Nagios is used to collect data by agents installed on clients and compile monitored items and alarm indicators by scripts. It is characterized as high flexibility and difficult operation. 
its granularity needs to be customized by the administrator. Xenos, which enables configuration and log management, automatic discovery and recovery, and performance monitoring. It develops based on CMDB. Zabbix. Zabbix is a web-based enterprise-level open-source solution that provides distributed system and network monitoring services. It supports multiple languages, such as Chinese, and automatically discovers servers and network devices, and provides engine monitoring services. Also, it can regularly collect data based on SNMP and stores data into files or databases. User can log in to the Cacti monitoring platform to view monitoring information and use RRG tool for real-time graphing. Users can view graphs displayed. The Cacti architecture consists of the following three layers. First, data collection layer which collects data based on SNMP or customized scripts. Second, data storage layer. Uploads data to MySQL databases using Cacti templates. Third, data presentation layer, which displays data based on web pages. Nagios can monitor various IT infrastructures and the monitoring granularity can be very small. It can collect the data by agents or based on SNMP and write the data into back-end databases, including MySQL and PostgreSQL databases by running the Delta process. Users can view the monitoring threshold of each monitored object by the monitoring platform displayed on the web page. Because the web page of Nagios is not very inviting, in the staging environment, we usually use Centrum as the front-end software to present data, and Nagios as the back-end software to collect data. For details about Centrum, please refer to demo.centrum.com website. Xenos is one of multiple open source monitoring software that is compatible with CMDB and supports various data collection technologies, including WMI, Perfmon, SNMP, JMX, HTTP, Telnet, SSH, Syslog, ICMP, FTP, and SMTP. It also enables configuration, event and log management, automatic discovery, performance monitoring, and automatic alarm recovery. In addition, Xenos is released in different versions. Users select a suitable one as the case may be. Xenos properly categorized data into CMDB configuration data, event data, and time sequence data based on the ITIL. Zabbix is the distributed monitoring software, which applies to large environments, and the environments where multiple branches are located. Zabbix is the web page-based enterprise-level open source monitoring software that provides distributed system and network monitoring services. It not only monitors network parameters and ensures the safe operation of servers, but also provides a notification mechanism enabling an administrator to quickly locate and clear faults. Zabbix consists of Zabbix servers and agents, which is optional. Zabbix can monitor the status of remote servers and networks and collect data by CNMP, Zabbix agents, pings, or port monitoring. So, which monitoring software do we choose? Based on the preceding table, we can see that the selection of monitoring software depends on user demand. If a user wants to enjoy monitoring services only, Nagios and Centrum are the likely choice. 
If a user wants to monitor data based on CMDB and ITIL, CNOS is the ideal choice. However, if a user wants to use monitoring software in a large data center, Zabbix is the best choice due to its distributed architecture which helps release the bottleneck in data transmission during the monitoring process and improves scale out. OK, let's recap. In this section, we learned about the open source monitoring process, objects monitored by open source monitoring software, the monitoring page of open source monitoring software, and the four mainstream open source monitoring software products, including uh, Cacti, Nagios, Synos, and Zabbix, and how to select a suitable one. That's all for this course. Thanks for your time.